What up guys, if you guys are trying to buy the cheapest and most reliable MT online, make sure to go to nbamtstore.com and use the code SHIFT for 5% off your next purchase. All the other info is in the description guys, be sure to check it out. What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And today guys, I'm going to be going through the best like token making methods, just how to make tokens really quickly, basically over 750 tokens you can make pretty quickly just for free. Like You don't have to pay any money, you don't have to do anything, it's literally just playing the game, you guys can get 750 tokens. I haven't gotten all 750 tokens yet, I'm still on the M of this board as you guys can see, I just got that recently, so I need around like 18 more tokens it looks like to unlock my first M of this player, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm on my way to the diamond board, pink diamond. We don't have any opals yet on the token board, and then token market obviously is still closed because the game just came out. But yeah guys, I'm going to go through the different token, the, dif the different ways actually to make tokens in NBA 2K21, my team this year. It's been pretty similar to last year guys, but if you guys saw my video from last year, but yeah, still, this video is definitely will help you guys out on how to make tokens pretty quickly throughout the different game modes and all that. So yeah, let's get into the video right away guys. Like up, let's see if we can get 20 likes on the video guys. Subscribe if you're new as always. We're on that road to 2,000 subs. Hope you guys really enjoy this video, but yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, let's go straight away. Let's get into it. So basically the main way that you guys can make token um, this year is not really triple threat offline or anything. The, the first thing that you guys really want to do if you're a no money spent player is kind of grind domination. So if you guys see right here, I'm at 81 stars out of 91 in the current domination, but I'm already done with the last couple and I'll show you why. I'll show you guys why I'm done with it. So I was playing domination starting from the beginning like this. So if you guys put, finish all five teams right here, you get a quick six tokens from completing each division. So you guys see here, six tokens here, six tokens here, completing them all. But then I was like, I kind of want some tokens quickly. So what I did is I got to this division, I completed it. Then I got to the Pacific division, just played two games. Played two games here in the southwest and i got to the last one and then these last three games you get a lot of tokens this one i got what six plus ten sixteen tokens right there uh five plus six eleven tokens right there another eleven tokens right here so right there that's like 38 tokens right there i got from just playing these three games which is pretty worth it and now i just got six more games i need to finish and then i'll still get another like 10 tokens from doing all this so if you guys don't know from current domination so if you guys see on right here on the very left from current domination you can make up to just from just from playing all the games just from playing all the games you can make 74 tokens just from doing all of this so that's pretty good so let's say you guys are on like the emerald board for example if you have 74 tokens i'll take you to the sapphire maybe even the ruby i'm not going to do the math right away but i can get you a lot of tokens right there guys just doing current domination and i feel like once you do one of those dominations might as well do the next so if you guys do current might as well go on to historic and historic domination is even better guys so i haven't really started at all as you guys can see i'm zero out of 99 i can't even click on all time yet but i'll tell you guys about all time as well so for historic domination guys you guys can make over 200 tokens just from historic domination because for each division that you guys complete similar to current domination as you guys can see right here you get 24 tokens for completing each division in, in historic domination so right here 24 right here 24 times six divisions uh that i think is 144 tokens right there so yeah 144 tokens right there guys and then if you guys go to the very end obviously i can't click on any but behind the thing you guys can see for earning 33 stars you get another 10 tokens and then for each one of these games um in total I'm, i already know you get 16 tokens each for one of those so you get 16 tokens there that's 48 total so you get 202 tokens guys just from completing historic domination we got a lot of math there, but all you guys got to understand is the final number. 74 tokens for current domination, 202 tokens for historic domination. And I can't really click on all time domination, but you guys have to believe me here. I did all the math and you get 366 tokens um, just from doing all time domination. So in total, if you guys do 300 and I'm going to literally put up my hack I'm, I'm like on Google right now to calculate it out. 366 tokens from all time domination, 202 from historic domination and 74 from current. That gives you 642 tokens total just from completing all three of these. And like that will bring you guys like a huge way in the token board. And especially in the early game, guys, having that 600 tokens just from completing, completing all of that. You can be, basically make your make your way to the end of this. I mean, the yeah, to the end of this board for sure. Maybe the diamond board. I don't think it works like that. But for me, since I've already been grinding out tokens without, I'm going to show you guys a different way. So yeah, without even finishing most of domination, guys, I still have been able to get to the end of this board. So I still got all these like over 500 tokens left, almost 600 tokens left to be made just from completing the rest of this, guys, which I'm planning to do. So yeah, over 500 more tokens to be made. I think I can make it to the pink diamond board, maybe. Let's see. Um, let me go right here. So if I get like, I need 12 of these, right? 12 times 30 that's 360 right there so yeah i can make a couple on the on, on the diamond board too i won't make it quite to the pink diamond but yeah you can make it to the diamond board guys just from doing domination and then the other ways that i've been making tokens right now is just different challenges and stuff like that so i'm gonna go through those and show you guys real quick so if you guys go to your lifetime agenda scroll down to complete collection so right here complete this group to earn 10 tokens 
And the way you complete this group is you complete a 20 Eastern Conference collection and a 20 Western Conference collection. So you get 20 plus 20 right there, plus another 10 from completing that group. And then in addition to, from after you complete that collection, let me go to my collection real quick. I completed the magic one right here. These are like one of the cheaper ones you guys can complete. I would recommend for you guys to complete this too if you guys got, the M if you got that MT. Um, but yeah, this King's one right here, you get 10 tokens for completing that, 10 tokens for completing the magic one plus 20 plus 20 plus 10 so that's 70 another 70 tokens right there guys so that got you like 730 tokens or something like that so that's our total right now just from doing these collections um, from doing those challenges and all that so 70 tokens right here again guys i'd recommend the kings and the, and the magic try to snipe some of the more expensive cards i think like he was one of the more expensive cards Maybe their prices have dropped down a little bit, but yeah, he's like a little bit over 2,000. No one's insane. No one's insane in these collections. Like, no one's over 3,000. You guys even see Michael Carter Williams right here. He's pretty cheap. He's going for like 1,900. Even though I think when I got him for like 1,500, I kind of took an L on that. But yeah, try to get them for cheap, guys. Worst case, just try to sit there and try to snipe them, whatever card you're going for. Whichever card you didn't have yet. Like, Kent Bazemore, I know I had some trouble with him. I had to snipe him too. You guys can see he's like 3,000. I managed to snipe him for like 1,000, so I'll take that. And in total, both of those collections only costed like 25k together so it's only 25k mt so if you guys got that might as well do it um but yeah the next best way guys is just triple their online and i basically say this i said this last year i'm gonna say this every year that they have it in 2k triple their online is literally the best way to make mt free tokens off each ball drop you guys can see different rewards in each tier for the triple their online ball drops tier one you get one token tier two three tokens one tokens tier three five tokens and three tokens but then on the tier three you also get like basically tokens just from dropping the ball you guys know there's like a token wheel you can kind of kind of hit get some free tokens off that so that's really helpful guys that's definitely really helpful you can make a bunch of tokens i probably like if i were to play a whole board of triple threat online i'll probably have enough to unlock my first amethyst on the token market if you guys don't know so yeah this is definitely a good method guys this will for sure put you over that 750 total and then triple threat offline you can say that too triple threat offline you can get a couple tokens here and there i'm at 54 wins right now you see i got two tokens right there one token right there like sometimes i just grind it out i see like i'm at like 30 wins i'll play like two more games get to that 31 win and then get that one token like it's just it's pretty nice to do this too if you guys go all the way up to the top you got like a little better rewards so like up here you guys can see 15 tokens right there thousand mt so if you guys really want to grind it out might as well because if you guys don't know grinding out for 300 where is it at 300 triple throw offline wins that's 1500 xp right there so that's pretty worth it too i might even try to finish that off before the end of the season but yeah we'll see a lot of these are a grind guys like 100 limited games i've only played like three unlimited games at three unlimited wins i got 40 triple their online wins all of that guys there's a lot to grind out here triple their online if you guys really want to grind that out if you i guarantee you if you go for 250 triple their online wins you'll probably make over like 400 tokens just from doing that guys so tokens you can make so much you can make so much of it obviously if you complete all of these you get a free 50 tokens and all of that guys um but yeah that's basically it packs really there's nothing you can do to make tokens um limited unlimited you can't really make tokens um limited there are some rewards every weekend but yeah those are the main methods guys domination challenges honestly weekly challenge you get two tokens from doing this you could do it it's nothing really special maybe later in the year they'll be a little bit better but yeah spotlight challenges i did two out of the five you don't get tokens from those either um but yeah that's basically gonna do it for this video guys hope you guys really enjoyed it um make sure you guys complete out this domination you get over 600 tokens just from doing that guys and then doing those two collections that's pretty helpful too you guys see right here this gives you a free 70 tokens that's just like a couple ruby players right there guys so yeah like up this video guys let's see if we can get 15 likes on the video 15 to 20 likes whatever around that range guys subscribe if you're new as always we're on that road to 2,000 subs hope you guys really enjoyed this video but yeah i'm out peace